Hey YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a cool status bar in NeoVim like the one I've got right now. So I've got my init.vim open. I've got this cool status bar along the top and a cool status bar along the bottom. So we're going to set that up in this video. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install software and how to set it up, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get to it. Okay, so this is what NeoVim looks like with the regular status bar along the bottom here, right where I'm going with my mouse. This is our regular status bar. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to get that cool one I showed you in the intro. Okay, so I'm going to quit out of here, and what I want to do is cd into my .config folder, and then inside that folder into my nvim folder. Now you're going to need to make this if you don't have it. Okay, once I'm in there, I'm gonna open my init.vim or create it. I have it created already. So we have nvim init.vim and I have a vim plug installed, so you wanna install that. But then we're gonna go and open up the browser here and we're gonna search for vim airline, okay? And we got vim airline here. And so I'm gonna go down to the bottom uh, and if I go down past installation, they show me how I can get the Vim Airline and the Vim Airline themes. So I'm going to copy this bit of code, okay, and I'm going to go here and then paste that code in, but I don't want plugin. So plugin works with uh, Vundle here. I'm using Vim Plug, so you, what I want is just plug. So I'm going to go here and just get rid of that and get rid of that, okay. I'm going to save this now. And I'm going to source this file uh, by doing colon so and then the percent. And then what I'm going to do is run plug install and hit enter and let those install. And we see now that the um, status bar on the bottom has changed already, although the theme doesn't quite match my theme here. Okay, so we're going to work on that. Um, one other thing I like to do is have the status bar along the top, and I can do it by copying this line. Let G airline hashtag extensions hashtag tab line hashtag enabled equal one. We're going to copy this, okay? Paste this in here. Let's write and quit and then go back into this file. And now we've got the status bar on the top and the bottom. But now we want to get a better theme, okay? So I'm going to go back here. Let's open up another tab here and search for Vim airline themes, okay? And I'm going to click on this repository. Okay, and in this, we have this folder, auto load airline themes. Let's click on this. And this will show us all the themes that are available. Now, one that I have that goes along with my current theme pretty well with Tokyo Night is, uh, let's see, it's Base 16 uh, Synth. Let me see if we can go down here. There's a bunch of themes here. Keep going down. It's down here, Base 16 synth midnight dark okay so um what i want to do to set a theme and let me open up another thing here so we'll do vim airline themes just want to open that up again make sure we get this right and to set a theme it gives you this uh, using a theme right under here we do let g colon airline underscore theme equal and then in single quotes the name of the theme okay so I'm going to go down here, and I'll do let G, okay, and then I want to type airline underscore theme, airline underscore theme equals, and then in single quotes, I'm going to type base 16 underscore synth underscore midnight underscore dark, okay, and I'll now write and quit. Okay, and now when I go back into NeoVim, I've got a status bar on the bottom and the top that resemble the Tokyo Night theme. I, I couldn't find an exact Tokyo Night theme to match along, but these go along pretty well, in my opinion. So I think this is a pretty cool way to get a nice status bar set up in NeoVim. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like as it would help the video a lot. Thank you.